everybody all my followers welcome to another video so the video today is on a Peugeot sorry on a Citroen C3 uh, 1.485 Spectral this car came to me with a few issues uh, two um, or one issue uh, all two related um, and another issue with a misfiring so when I was uh, measuring uh, the loom um, because I uh, well, I'm not going to take you through the fault finding process. Uh, this video, this video is just going to be really um, a, a tip uh, or a suggestion, uh, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not going to take you through anyway. Um, when I removed the multiplex on the ECU to check wiring, and I wanted to look in there uh, on this first uh, plug here socket wherever look at the bottom row you have two big pins and then the third pin is missing can you see that and it's all brown at the bottom so this pin uh, came with the plug when I pulled it out it was that corroded well it was already gone uh, that the pin came uh, with the plug and this is the pin for injector number one is the signal wire for injector number one and then if you go on the top row you can see that you have two big pins one small one and then the next one is also missing this pin was also in use so uh, was needed I'm not sure where that one uh, was going um, I, I never checked but that one was still good when I took the plug it only broke while I was cleaning this because this was all corroded it was like corrosion everywhere you can see that this big pin here uh, the third one from the bottom is a little bit corroded on the side as you can probably see okay so um, but it's still plenty of, of material in there we're gonna spray a little bit of oil before we put everything uh, WD-40 before you put all this together uh, but, uh, but yeah those pins they broke now um, at the time when I've seen this and I've seen the faults by the way the O2 sensor signals um, and powers and everything they all come to this plug so my thought straight away in there was open the ECU and see how the ECU was inside the problem is when you open this ECU and now I'm going to reveal the fix and I'm going to reveal everything or maybe not hang on so when you open this ECU this cover is full of this the entire thing is covered uh, forget about the black one I'll explain in a minute what that is but it's filled with this silicone so you don't have access to the PCB which means if water went through here right inside the ECU into the PCB I won't be able to see it so um, what I've done first was I removed this uh, silicone in this area to expose the EPROM so it's already covered with the black sealant, but the EPROM is right here in this corner, right underneath is a ST95160. And I was already planning to get another ECU. Because I was thinking that all my problems was because of these corroded pins. Um, anyway, uh, later on I find out that my O2 issues was not actually due to the multiplug, was due to someone fitted uh, the wrong the O2 sensors they were new but they were the wrong ones for this car so which means my only problem left was the two pins missing still the the right repair would be another ECU but I've done something different which I'm going to share with you now so this is what I've done so I got a two pin uh, watertight plug this is obviously one of the sides and I brought it inside the ECU and covered the pins here so they come they go from there and then they come up and they solder here on the PCB and here I have my cylinder number one injector this red wire here red and gray and then the brown the brown wire is soldered right there at the bottom on the other pin which I'm not sure where it goes because I never checked but it doesn't matter it, it was it was in use so it was needed so so yeah that's where it goes so I've soldered this here and now on the on the car side on the loom i have i think it's at the front of the car hold on i 
don't even know where I have it now. Should be here somewhere. Anyway, I've exposed the cores of the two wires that goes onto the missing pins. And over here, I'm gonna solder. What is the? It might be inside the car, guys. Over there, I'm gonna solder. Oh, you see this? I'm gonna solder the other half. Uh, and the, the 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 I know it's gonna work because before I had only two wires soldered in here and wrapped around there to to test and and it's working fine. So, um, but I'm gonna do it like this because if you want to take this to you, then you know if I solder the wires, then you would have to cut the wires or whatever. So if I do it like this, I should still be able to take this U out completely, unplugged everything without much of a hassle. Uh, even if you just need to work around there or something like that. So I think it's better this way So about that, about that I got interrupted, but yeah, so that's that's what I've done and all I'm gonna do now is cover this up I've covered the the side of the EPROM. I ended up by not even reading the EPROM. Uh I've read the flash, but I've done that through OBD uh, But you can't do that. Uh, you can't do the EPROM through OBD Um anyway at least with the tools I have anyway all I'm gonna do now is obviously uh, cover this up as well with the same stuff, close the ECU, solder this on that side, and I should have my problem uh, resolved. So, uh, yes, the correct repair would be another ECU, that would be the right way to do it, but this is a good way for you to salvage the ECU and you know just keep things going. Uh, just a quick tip, um, and that's it for this video, guys. Really, as I said, a really quick video. So, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there's something here that you can find it useful whatever um, hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions any comments well you know put them below and like always thanks for watching